at a job today. Ran the wires a little while ago, and uh, the builder's done a beautiful job. They're, uh, they're flush mounted light fittings. Here's an example of what goes up in there. There you go. And you'll likely up there. They're beautiful, in they? These are a lovely job plastering that in. All recessed, all trimless, and uh, they're all around, the, all around the gaff. This one's not copper, it's just going to be a standard white light. Again, the light sits up there. It can be angled because it's on a bit of a, a tilt. Light up the old kitchen worktops there. This is going to be pucked, that's going to look really nice. Gone around and I've pulled out all the wires from all the lights just to make sure they are still there. And we've, we've got one, one that we can't find far over there. But, um, I'm not sure it's not going to be the end of the world we'll find out in a minute. I'm going to start wiring them up. I've got these metal light fittings in the ceiling. And anything that's metal should be earthed. Which means that should be in it. But it's not. It's in my hand. Um, I suppose that is actually one downside of this because you... I can see the argument. I mean, the builder did a great job putting the lights up. He should have put these in. But in fear, if he was to put these in, I wouldn't be able to terminate them because the terminations are attached to it. And it's got a fire seal, which is that thick. So it is a bit stupid, really. I mean, he's done nothing wrong. I physically would not be able to terminate them. So it's, it's like you'd have to do the terminating before the lights went up. Then you'd plaster them in. And then you could never get to the terminations again. They'd, they'd be lost forever. So... Yeah, in theory, actually, there is actually nothing wrong he's done. And, and I'm not a great fan of these these ones. I mean, I love the idea of the light. It's just maybe this particular brand isn't that good. That just that just pushes in. It's It's got no screw to fix it to the metal outer sheathing of the light. So um, it, it can just fall out. And I've seen them fall out before in the past as well. Some fittings, they go in tight. Some's a little bit looser than the others. They, they can fall out. Not Not brilliant. So I need to find a way around that problem, and I think I've found it. What I'm going to do is is a little capsule that comes out, which is also metallic, and it looks like there's a little bit of room on this where I can drill a three three point five hole. I'll thread it. I'll put a nut through it. I'll have to try and cut it off as flush as I can, file it down, and what I'll do is I'm going to attach a bit of my own earth cable. That should get around the problem, to be honest. Okay, so anyone in the electrical business will know that all terminations have to be done in a non-combustible enclosure. However, um, I've been given this. I don't know how anyone in their right mind can class that as a non-combustible enclosure. It's, it's just a connector block with a little bit of plastic over the top of it. And that's the, that's the flex restraint, the cable grip. And I'll be honest, I think I'm going to barely get one cable in, let alone two. So, obviously someone's tried to cut back on a bit of cost here. And uh, I've used one of these, these plugs. Godsend. And what I've done is I've extended this green cable as well. And, uh, that just goes in there. There we go. for too long. They they all have the gene in them from when they used to have legs. And uh, yeah, apparently it can still kick in if the snake lives for too long. So Same for your next pub quiz. You'll probably see them googling now, aren't you? Bird for a day's work. Day. Got these on. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's 
so guys. That's me done. Four o'clock on the dot. Let's get out of here. I'll, um, by the way, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try and do more videos. I, I don't know how good they are. I think I've still got a, a long way to go before I can perfect doing anything probably worth watching. So if you want to sort of take a gamble, just, you know, subscribe or just keep watching. Keep tuning in. I, I don't know how often I'll do these. I'll, maybe I'll try and do them once a week, once a fortnight. All really depends on what sort of work I have on. Um, I'll tell you what, whilst I'm nattering away, let me also mention, I don't know if I've done it or not yet, my company is called My Trusted Electrician. Bought the rights to that in November. I do, however, own a company called Fulgura Electrical. No, it's, it's actually just called Fulgura Electrical. It's a limited company. Oh, I thought it was a great name when I did it seven or eight years ago. It was, it was 2010, so no, it, it was seven years, seven and a bit. Um, no one can pronounce it, no one can spell it, and I'm sick of it now, so that's it. I've changed it, I've changed the name. So I'm going to see how I get on with this one. I've still got a long way to go. I've got to change the uniform. I've got letterheads that still need to be changed. I've managed to transfer the NIC over. I've done the liability cover that's gone over. Check a trade. I don't believe it's gone over yet because they're being funny. So I need to sort that out still. But yeah, no, eventually it will all be changed over. So I do apologize if you do wonder like why all my uniform still says Fulgura Electrical. Yeah, on YouTube, it's down as my trusted electrician. It will soon all be sorted. Like, just give me like a few more months. But yeah, no, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.